Courtney, I wonder where Sherry's at. I don't know, Mama. Maybe she'll be in here in a minute. I don't know. I had to send everybody outside. They were getting a little testy. Mama, with the view we have by the pool, nobody can get testy. You're right. Maybe Sherry will be here soon. Oh, my goodness gracious sakes alive. I'm so sorry. There I'm late. Is. I'm late. I'm late, as usual. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Welcome to Heart of the Home, away from home, but maybe our new home. Oh, my goodness <laughs> sakes alive. Where's everybody at? I see their desserts. I see the barbecue. We had to send them outside. Did they get impatient? Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Well, when I came up your driveway, patience and calmness, what a view. What a view. And the good Lord was good to us because today it was awesome. Now, Courtney, what are you making, sweetie? Those, uh, is it Trina Jones recipe? Yes. We're going to be making baked beans. And we do ground chuck in that and onion. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad y'all got that done before I got here. Now, y'all will be the ones smelling like onions instead of me. <laughs> well, let me tell you what I'm going to smell like. Miss Betty Champion does the potatoes every day for my sister-in-law because she's doing a little weight loss plan. And she told me how to do this, and she said they're really good, they're really simple, and no fat. Sounds good? Sounds good. Sounds, Sounds good. A little spicy, a little garlic, a little kicking. And I brought the Chef and the Fat Man's Love Rub. And this, we're going to put this and some extra garlic because... I just, you know, a little sea salt, a little garlic, a little lemon pepper. Basically, we're going to spice them up because they were a little bit boring until Miss Betty just whooped them full of stuff. So, now, we decided today our theme would be a wonderful end-of-season party. Friends, family, fellowship, and it has just, you know, we've been so blessed. A lot of rain this summer. Yeah. Hay fields, beautiful, beautiful. And I see that, how many acres does Charles have to cut? A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. And I looked, it is perfectly manicured. You're very, very lucky because last year I came by here and it was very dry. It was. Very dry. We've been so lucky this year. Lucky, lucky. Now, Miss Courtney, that smells good. Mom, you're going to add the barbecue beans and the meat and the onions. We're going to stick that in the oven. I'm going to get the potatoes done quickly. And this is a recipe. It was in the Habitat cookbook, and guess what, girls? We just sold out. Okay. Our second printing, we just sold out, and we're doing a new Heart of the Home cookbook with a lot of my original recipes. And Grab It and Go. Have you done Grab It and Go? No, but I want to. Well, so simple we and so good. It. Yes. And um, it's one of those recipes, I have to do things simple. Mm -hmm. I have to do things that Courtney can do. Someday, after college, you'll be looking for a nice young man and a nice young a wedding, this place would be <laughs> perfect for a wedding. Hint, hint. In four years or masters, you gonna go for your masters? I don't think so. Okay, all right. <laughs> maybe. You're gonna go down the aisle, maybe. <laughs> well, these potatoes will be good, the beans will be good. Annie's restaurant is bringing slaw. She's not here yet, is she? Not yet. Maybe she'll be here in a few minutes. You know, she goes to work at like 2.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, unlike me, I don't have to get up till 10 after six mm -hmm. for our first job. Charlene, do we love that first job in the morning? We love that first job. Now, these potatoes are going to take a little while, and the beans will take a little while. Now, you're going to add some mustard ketchup and brown sugar to that. Mm -hmm. I brought you the brown sugar. Okay. Okay. And I am going to, these things are going to be a little bit spicy, um, garlic and onion salt, and, but we're using Pam, and we're not using anything with any fat content in it. And we're going to bake them. And while we're doing that, it's going to be... I see a banana pudding, a peach cobbler, a heritage pie, a strawberry cake, a blackberry cobbler. Oh my goodness. While we're waiting on this, should we have dessert first? That Life is good. short. Eat Let's dessert see. first. <laughs> Life is short. Eat dessert first. This is going to be an awesome day. And it's kind of, you know, the kids are going back to school soon. Mm -hmm. And we are going back to reality. And you know, we have to welcome folks. I am learning to do a blog, which is a joke. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you should have seen me. But I just sat down and I decided I'm just going to tell folks like it is. And, and really and truly, at almost 58 years old, I have the best jobs of my life. I love Heart of the Home. I love North Georgia now today. And it has really relieved a lot of stress because the trucking business is very stress stressful. I think that's why people like you so good, though, is because you tell it like it is. I do tell it like it is. And uh, what you see is what you get. Yeah. So there it is. If I'm having a bad day, the whole world knows it. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world does know it. But um, I'm kind of happy that I'm that way because 
I can't, what is that um, saying? Fake it till you make it, can't do it, can't do it. I'm the real deal and I just, um, if, I, if I cry, you and I, Friday, one of our best shows ever. Yes, got the best and response And thank ever. goodness we didn't have on a ton of eye makeup because mm -hmm. we'd have looked like little raccoons. Yes. <laughs> we'd have looked like little raccoons. We were blessed with the Kaler family. Yes. I met them at Salem number two up in Mineral Bluff, Georgia. 90 year old Miss Grace Kaler. What did she sing? The oh, Old Ship of Zion. Line, that's right. Amazing. She, one, she did. Too. And do you remember when she forgot her line? Yes, I do. And did. I said, honey, it's okay. Just wait and you'll be fine. And she and figured she it did. out in just a minute. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. And yesterday we had a 98 year old guest. Oh, and she was what great. What a hoot. Mm -hmm. What a hoot. It was wonderful. Well, it was one of those days that make me know that living where we live, mm -hmm. we have a wealth of friends. We have a wealth of family who support us in whatever yes. we do, whether it's you running the grocery store, you running the laundromat, you running the tanning salon, mm -hmm. me doing the trucking, me worrying about the bills at the flower shop, you know, just a lot of things happening. I am, uh, I've been selling real estate for years and I've decided to take a break from that. I'm just gonna do what I do. And what I do best is listen to gospel music. Yes. Do you think we could take a break now and maybe listen to one of the girls' songs? The best you'll ever the hear. The best we'll ever hear. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't wait, I'm excited about it. Let's see what Angel Spirit has in store for us, y'all. Hang around, sit back, and relax. You are going to love this. Memories of my childhood days, I recall them now and then. When at home with all the family there. But it's not the same anymore, the circle has been broken. Let's pray we'll meet again some morning fair. I wonder will the family circle be together once again over there on heaven's shining shore there no more to separate we'll sing around god's throne i wonder will the family circle be at home will daddy be there waiting when I cross the chilly tide Will mama be there standing by his side I pray that all the family circle Will be together once again In that land the soul shall never die I wonder will the family circle be together once again over there on heaven's shining shore there no more to separate we'll sing around god's throne i wonder will the family circle be at home oh my gosh y'all welcome back to heart of the home away from home we are in a beautiful home Charles and Charlene Higgins and their beautiful daughter Courtney invited us in and you got to enjoy the music you just listened to because Charlene begged, pleaded, kicked, cried, and screamed. Whatever it took. Whatever it took. Whatever it took. <laughs> you got that taken care of before I got to come in because I was like, I'm sorry. I'm like, now, where's Annie? Do you think they're almost here? I know they had to work late today. Oh, look, they're here now. Oh, come on. Hey, guys, come on in. Well, Annie's brother owns Wolf Creek Canyon Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Annie, the best biscuit cook in North Georgia. Now, that is from Wolf Creek Canyon. You made slaw, your brother made barbecue. He's in Gilmer County, you're in Pickens County. Thank you for doing this. And Bonnie, you've been on North Georgia Now today with us. You're a missionary. And um, part of what we do, and we're allowed to do on TV, thank goodness, is because of the Christian networks we work with. So we're very fortunate. And we have to say a big thank you to Gary, who sent baby back ribs and pulled pork and what else? Barbecue sauce, his sweet, sweet barbecue sauce. Oh, it is yeah. so good. And Annie's famous slaw. I love your brother's cooking, but your slaw is better. Shh, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> don't tell him I said that. I didn't say that. And, and Bonnie, you've worked there for how many years? Almost four. Almost four. And you're able to do your mission work because Annie lets you leave and travel out of the country. Mm -hmm. 
So it's, both, it's great for both of you because you're an asset to her and I know you're an asset to this community. Y'all yeah. want to go hang out by the pool and yes. sit down with some of the girls and we're going to be eating. You also brought us hot banana pudding. Yes. Oh, I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. Now y'all go sit down and rest and Charlene, we're going to put Courtney to work. We're going to do barbecue nachos and this barbecue meat is from Wolf Creek Canyon. Now, the one thing we need to do, Courtney, get me the scoops. This is just something I love barbecue. I'm just, and you said Charles likes barbecue. Oh, he loves barbecue. Well, and whoo, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we got shot. Okay, we're gonna do some nachos. And everybody who came today to our end of season party brought something. Fran brought homemade salsa. Oh, wow. This is wonderful, this is wonderful. And she brought some homemade squash pickles. And did your hubby come up with those jalapenos? Yes. Mm -hmm. I said, are there jalapenos in the house? And he said, yeah, can you get me a spoon and then hand me some of that barbecue sauce? Yeah, those come from his aunt and uncle in Griffin. Oh, wow. Those every year we get some. Now, a little, does he like a little? Does he like a lot? How does he feel about he it? He likes a lot. Me too, mm -hmm. me too, me too. We're gonna use the barbecue and we're gonna add salsa to it. So it's going to be a little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy, a little bit of hot. And we're going to stick it in the oven just a short period of time. And while we're waiting on the other things to cook, we're going to let everybody sample this because it's just some of my favorite things put together. Mm -hmm. You know, I like salsa. Sometimes I put sour cream on it. Charlene, I think there's some cheddar cheese, some shredded cheese in the fridge. Woo! Did you hear that? And Courtney, hand me a barbecue sauce. Now, I like Gary's sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't understand about that man is he works seven days a week. Now, when I owned a restaurant, I did that, and boy, that got old in a hurry. So, tough job, tough life, but they love it, and it's a family business. And that's one of those things, Charlene, you know, you've been in your family's business forever. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of, um, you're an only child, Courtney's an only child. My daughter would love to have been an only child. <laughs> <laughs> But I got, I have a, a precious child. Dawn has um, come full circle. Uh, I know folks will remember. She's doing good. She's doing great. Mm -hmm. She cans the most beautiful tomato sauce. And um, she is doing her first garden ever. And she's learning. And she's learned a lot about life in the last year. And everything that's come out of it has been beautiful. Perfect. She's done she a great She is job. so proud of that. Now, this is cheese and Fran's homemade salsa. Gary's wonderful barbecue and Gary's sweet sauce. And it's going to be a kind of a combination of sweet and spicy. And, okay, jalapenos, a lot or a few? What do you think? Maybe just a few. Okay, <laughs> maybe just a few. All right. Let's do just a few. And let's see. You know, I did a thing called high test chicken, and I let the boys decide how much we were going to put on there, and they went jalapeno crazy. And I said, now, boys, Mom doesn't like them too hot, so we're going to put just a few on there around the sides, and then the people who like the jalapenos can get them. And folks like me, I like about three. When mm -hmm. I go have a sandwich made, I put about three jalapenos on it. So, but this is Fran's homemade salsa. Now, you want to stick that in the oven? And all we have to do is get it hot enough to melt the cheese. And we're going to probably, I think we should go out and sit by the pool in a little bit but you think we should sneak and take a piece of cake? What do you I think? think so. That cake looks to die for. Like anybody will notice. Well, you know, Mama Lucy took one of those to church Sunday. I know. And I love when you don't tell people what you're bringing and you sit down among them and they're eating and you listen. Welcome back to Heart of the Home, Away from Home. What a wonderful day. Friends, fellowship, great gospel music, the absolute best. And we are we're going to sit down by the pool and we're going to chill. This is kind of our last. Kids are going back to school. Can't believe how fast the summer went, but I can't believe what a simple, simple, great menu. The best part of this menu is designate. Call your friends, tell them to bring something. Now, Courtney worked on it, Charlene worked on it. Everybody came and brought something, and it means that together we can have a quick meal with not a lot of hassle. And you know, for women who work one job, two jobs, four jobs, or have five kids, we want to make everything as simple as possible, such simple recipes. Now, Miss Courtney, you're going to dip up and hand out. Y'all come on down. Mama Lucy, come on down. And we're going to start Age Before Beauty. Mama Lucy is our senior who just celebrated her 74th birthday, although for two years I have had her 75. Y'all know and love Mama Lucy. She's been on the show longer than anybody. 
And um, quite honestly, if I go to Alaska, maybe she'll take my place. Ha ha, I'm not leaving. I am like country music, I am here to stay. This has been a great day. And these are recipes that will all be on our website very soon. Now, Miss Selena, hey, great music, darling. Great music, thank you so much. It was wonderful, family harmony has to be the best. Has to be the best. We can, there you go, darling. And we're having friends homemade pickles. And Diane, what's our saying? We ain't meeting, we ain't. We ain't eating if we ain't meeting. <laughs> we ain't meeting if we ain't eating. There you go. Well, your family has been one of those families. How much food have we provided for the inspiration? Oh, no. We don't want to even talk We don't about want to talk about it. And like many of the gospel groups, we bring them in and feed them before the show. And we've spoiled them a little bit. We've got uh, some great cooks in our area. We have some great cooks in our area. They're no small boys. Oh, no, they're not small boys. No, no. Although Martin does work them like Trojans. And if you want to come here and take pictures of Sharp Top Mountain from Refuge Road, the view is incredible, isn't it? It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And Charles, you do such a good job at keeping up the property. It is gorgeous. And we can't say enough about Charlene's kitchen. You would think this kitchen was designed for television. You would think, you would think it was designed to live in. This is a house full of love. It is a house full of love. And one of the things that, um, you know, when you got the girls to come, they came because they love you. They came because they love you, and you know that. Absolutely. And, you know, they were instrumental in helping me get through the roughest time of my life. And I can't say enough good things about that because I had to have somebody I trusted to do exactly what J.S. would have wanted, and they did this beautiful music. Now, young man, how come he's all dressed up? He got out of the bank. Oh, well, okay, we can do one more show. The banker's here. Did you bring money? They frown on that. Uh-huh. Well, we've got great barbecue. Courtney made the baked beans, so you'll find out if this young girl can cook. And after college, you know, maybe you'll find out if she can cook. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Fran made the wonderful no salsa. Pressure no pressure. No, 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 no pressure. And besides that, you'd get great in-laws. Hey, that's the best. That's the best. There you go. The potatoes smelled great. What about those nachos, Courtney? What you think of those? Mm, they look delicious. They do look delicious. Now, your mom and daddy drank a little bit of the jalapeno juice. Yes, they did. Woo! Whoa! Wow! I was trying to get my voice. <coughs> it's been tough. They it's been tough. <laughs> well, you've had what a week of dealing with those allergies and all the problems. Yes, I yeah. Have. Yep. Well, the ribs look great. The nachos look great. Now we want you to sit back and enjoy. What's the name of this group? Angel Spirit. Angel Spirit. Sit back and enjoy some of the best harmony you will ever hear. We'll see you again next week. Heart of the home from Charlene's home this week. Bye-bye. Bye. Listen to a story How Jesus died for me On an old rugged cross Called Calvary There he suffered, bled, and died on the cross was crucified and my jesus will welcome me home i've come too far to turn back heaven's gate i now can see loved ones there await for me beyond the gate I can hear angels playing on harps of golden strings, and my Jesus will welcome me home. We have traveled many miles in this sinful world below, many loved ones that we've known have gone on but we're nearing that home where we never more shall roam and my jesus will welcome me home 
I've come too far to turn back. Heaven's gate I now can see. Loved ones there await for me beyond the gate. I can hear angels playing on harps of golden strings. And my Jesus will welcome me home. I've come too far to turn back. Heaven's gate I now can see. Loved ones there await for me beyond the gate. I can hear angels playing on harps of golden strings and my Jesus will welcome me home.